Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. In the continuation to our series on Spark interview questions, today we'll look into the Spark internals and the high-level Spark architecture. So let's quickly see what is Spark. We have already discussed this in the previous videos, but quickly go through it. Uh, Spark is an open source distributed big data processing engine. It provides a common processing engine for both streaming and bash data. It uh, provides parallelism and fault tolerance out of the box. Uh, Spark provides high level APIs in four of the languages, Java, Scala, Python, and R. And Spark works on the concept of in-memory in computation, which makes it around 100 times faster than Hadoop MapReduce. So all in all, Spark is a big data processing engine which works uh, on the concept of in-memory and it is lightning fast. So let's see what are the different components of Spark. Spark consists of the one of the bigger one of the bigger components called Spark Core, which contains majority of the libraries. On top of this Spark Core, there are four different components. One is the Spark SQL, which provides a SQL-like interface uh, to do the data processing with Spark as a processing engine. Uh, Spark Streaming provides supports for stream data processing. There's the MLib component, which provides libraries for machine learning uh, towards the statistic and dynamic analysis of the data. Provide Another component is graphics, which provides a distributed graph computation on top of Spark Core. Uh, at the same time, Spark also consists of three pluggable cluster managers. First one is the standalone cluster manager. Second one is Apache Mesos. And third one is Hadoop Yarn. We'll look into all these cluster managers in detail in the further video. Now let's see uh, what are the different cluster managers uh, provided in the Spark system, or we can say work with Spark system. The first one, as we've seen in the previous slide, is the standalone cluster manager provided and included within the Spark, uh, which makes it easier to set up the cluster and, the, and execute the tasks on the cluster. Another one is Apache Mesos, is a general cluster manager uh, from the Apache group that can run, uh, that can also run uh, Hadoop MapReduce along with the Spark and other service applications. Hadoop Yarn, these are resource manager which were provided in the Hadoop 2 and stands for yet another resource negotiator. It is also a general purpose uh, cluster manager can work both in Hadoop and Spark. So these are the three cluster managers right now uh, supported with the Spark ecosystem. Let's quickly look at the high level architecture of the Spark execution program. So when we run any job with the Spark, this is how underlying execution happens. There would be one driver program which work with cluster manager to schedule tasks on the worker nodes. So once these tasks are completed, they'll return the result back to the driver program. And this is how execution is at a very high level performed in this Spark world. We'll, let's, we'll look in detail that what all of these components work and how they make the Spark runtime components. So first Spark runtime components, as we have seen in the previous picture, is the Spark driver. Let's see what is Spark driver and what all things it, when, what all things it does. So the first and foremost uh, activity of the Spark driver is to call the main method of the program. Whenever you write any execution code in Spark, you give a main class which is the entry point to your program, that entry point is executed by the Spark driver. It is the Spark driver which creates the Spark context 
or spark session depends on which version of spark you are working spark 1 spark 2 onwards it would be spark session and prior to that it would be spark context created by the driver itself the driver is the process that runs the user code which eventually creates rdd data frames and data units which are the data unit abstractions in the spark world and these all uh, you know data processing apis are created by the driver itself it is a driver which performs all the different transformations and ex actions in the form of tasks which are executed on different executors uh, so out of this conversation we can say that the two main uh, roles which are performed by driver are converting the user program into the tasks tasks are the actual uh, unit of execution and second is scheduling those tasks on the executor with the help of cluster manager resource allocation is done and tasks are scheduled on the specific executors so these are the all, all the things done by the driver now let's see uh, what are the different activities performed by the spark cluster manager one point I want to make here is Spark execution is agnostic to the cluster manager. You can plug in any of the three available cluster managers or supported cluster managers, and the execution behavior doesn't change. That doesn't change based on which cluster manager are you using. Let's see what all things cluster manager does. Spark lies on cluster manager to launch the executors. This is the prerogative of uh, cluster manager to schedule and launch executors. Resources are allocated by cluster manager for the execution of tasks. Cluster manager is a pluggable component as we have seen. We have choice out of three available and supported cluster managers and we can plug any one of them based on our use case and needs. Cluster manager can dynamically adjust the resource by uh, used by the spark application depending on the workload so cluster cluster manager can uh, increase the number of executors or decrease the number of executors based on the kind of workload data processing needs to be done now let's see what are the different activities performed by spark executor the individual tasks in the given spark job run in the spark executor you can uh, uh, put an analogy of spark executors as different threads running in parallel and inside those threads the actual programming logics of data processing are executed in the form of tasks so executors once launched in the spark application uh, and they are launched in the beginning of the spark application when you submit to do the job do the spark submit job and they run for the entire lifetime of an application the two main uh, roles of executor are to run the task to run the act actual business processing processing logic and return the result back to the driver at the same time it is the executor which provides in-memory storage for the rdd's data set and data frames that are cached by the user so that uh, facilitation is also provided by the executor so executor is the actual unit of execution which performs tasks uh, for the data processing guys that's it for uh, spark architecture and internals in this video we'll take a further deep dive in part two thanks for watching have a great day